Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to install the Diamond Striker 4 Fist Fighter. Um, this, this one is very similar to the uh, one that Yamaha is selling. And it's, uh, it's half price. I think it's about uh, 119, 100, 110. And you can find it in uh, Academy or Dick's Spoken Good. Um, and I bought it before I bought my jet ski, so that's why I'm gonna stick with it. Um, this one didn't come with the uh, connector uh, for the transducer um, that you can you can connect into the jet ski uh, without any custom. So um, I'm looking around and I found this piece um, of metal from uh, Home Depot and uh, it fit really well into the back um, right the connectors to um, the uh, the step up uh, location right here so so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna throw couple holes here maybe one here one here so I can fit it into the two screw right there and then I'm gonna drill another four hole here so I can I can put um, one of the uh, transducer um, connector into here this piece of metal is very strong and well built. I don't know if it's gonna corrode corrosion when it goes in into the water, but uh, we can we can always change. So that's what I'm gonna do today. All right, let's start it. to hook it up the um, transducer and the connector into my custom connector uh, as you see after I drew four hole I can tie it together with the, the screw right there and then I hook up the uh, custom connector in the back of this two screw it's very steady and secure I think as you see so I run the uh, then I run the transducer cable along and zip tight right here so it's not moving then I run it along the jet ski tuck into here and then run up and put another zip tie right here I choose not to drill any hole uh, on my jet ski, I don't like that. Uh, so I tuck it in to this compartment space area and then uh, use the existing zip tie, uh, run it along the jet ski there and then so in order for me to run the cable the transducer cable and the fist fighter cable from uh, from 
internal of the jet ski out up here I had to open this compartment there's one screw two screw three screw and there's two more right here one and two so that four screw five screw that you have to open and then you can slide this forward and slightly loop it out um, then you're gonna see then you're gonna see the um, the uh, uh, where where they run the cable uh, from the bottom to up top here um, to to get the cable through that uh, we're gonna also open this compartment uh, a couple screw and this this one is very easy to open uh, unscrew it and uh, pick up the connector and then you should be able to remove this then you will see it where you can run the, uh, the fish finder cable through very easy Zip this area so we can put our transducer cable and the, the power cable for the Garmin uh, G Strike 4, Striking 4. Go through there and go up there, cup holder uh, hole. So we can connect to our Garmin Strike 4 right down there. There's a little hole right there. Yep. That little hole where you're going to run the cable up and connect to the power and the transducer. All right.